Lung gang, lung gang. Probability distributions, discrete random variables, don't neglect this. Students always do, and then they panic when they see all this crazy notation, okay? Let's address it right now. It says the probability distribution of a discrete random variable x is given by this, where k is a positive constant. It's saying three independent observations of x are made. We're denoting that as x1, x2, x3. And the variable y is the sum of those observations. If y is an even number, find the probability that y is bigger than 9. Okay, so obviously we're going to have to find out what these individual probabilities are. And the way we do that is we form a table. Okay, so the table is going from 1 to 4. Yeah, so we have x and those associated probabilities. So it's going from 1, 2, 3, and quattro. Now, when x is 1, we just get k. Now, when x is 2, the whole probability, yeah, the probability that x is 2 is a half of the probability that x equals 2 minus 1. Yeah, 2 minus 1 is 1. So you're just halving the previous probability. So that's a half k. Yeah, and then for the probability that x is 3, we'll be doing a half of the probability that x equals, so from here, for 3, 3 minus 1 is 2. Well, the probability of 2 is this, so when you half that, you get a quarter. Then this one will be 1 over 8. What do we do with that? We add them all up and say that it equals 1. Okay, so we add all this up. You can basically factorize out k and take the coefficients 1 plus a half plus a quarter plus one eighth is one. So k is uh, one plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25. Wait, what? One plus a half plus one quarter plus one eighth, 15 over eight. So 15 over eight k is one, one divided by that, eight over 15. Okay. I'm just going to leave it like that for now, and we'll deal with that later. Um, it says three independent variable, three independent observations of this are taken. So, you know, I don't know what they're doing, but I don't know. You could have a two, you could get an outcome of two, and then you could get a four, and then you could have got a one. Okay. And what those outcomes are is we're adding them up. Okay. It's saying if y is an even number, so given y is even, what's the probability that y is bigger than nine? So, in the probability of y being greater than 9 given y is even. Yeah, it's a given statement. So it becomes the probability of y being greater than 9 and y being even divided by the probability of y being even. Now y being greater than 9 is a subset of y being even. So we might as well just look at what outcomes would give us y to be an even number. Now we're adding up three numbers, right? x1, x2, and x3. So we could have it that all of them are even. Okay. We have to make sure that if I introduce an odd, I need to make sure that there are two odds and an even. Okay. So if I have even here, if I add odd, even plus odd is odd. Okay, like two plus five. Okay. So I need to add another odd number. E -wee -wee, e -wee -wee, tune. Um, but we could have it the other way, right? We could have odd, even, odd, 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 even. Okay, but that is fine. We can just look at the permutations of that, right? So for even, 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 I could add 2, 2, 2, 4, 4, 4. Okay, that's one of my options. Uh, what are my other options then? We can't have odd, odd, odd. I think that's it in terms of my options. Um, so I could have even, so 2, uh, plus other options. So 2, I think what I was getting at before is that you have three different ways of doing this. So you could have uh, odd, even, odd, and ooh, like that. So let me write that again. So there's three different ways you could arrange those unique options. So if we find out what the unique options are, we can just times that by three. Okay. 
So maybe we do it like this. The probability becomes three lots of this. All right. Okay. So going back to what I said before. So we can have two, 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 four, four, four. My other options are, so if I take an even number two, and then um, I need two odd numbers, that would be one and three. But there's three different ways of doing that. Yeah, switching these all around. So two could pair with one and three, but it could also pair with one and one, right? Man, this is come, becoming really long. I don't even know if I want to do it like this anymore. Maybe I just need to look at overall, what's the probability of choosing an even number and an odd number? That might be better. Because otherwise I'm going to say 2 plus 1 plus 1, 2 plus 3 plus 3, which is fine, but it's quite long-winded to then have to calculate all those probabilities. So let's just calculate the probability of getting an even number because the key word here is that it's independent observations, meaning... We could just do even times even times even. It's probably just going to be the best way of doing it. So what's the probability of finding an even number? Well, we just do these two added together, a half k plus 1 over 18k. 1 over 8k, sorry. Which, uh, I don't think I saved it, but I have 8 over 15. I'm going to store that. 8 over 15, store it. So I'm doing 0 0.5a plus 1 over 8 a. So one third. And the probability of an odd number, the probability of an odd number is just one minus that, right? Two thirds. If that's one third, then that's going to be two thirds. So the probability of getting three evens, uh, the probability of E, then E, then E, is a uh, yeah, I guess the only negative of doing it this way then is you can't see then explicitly y is bigger than 9. We're still going to have to consider which combinations are bigger than 9. Okay, so E, E, E is 1 third cubed. Yeah, third times a third times a third is 1 over 27. Then the probability of E, E, E is 3 lots of the probability of even times U squared. Three, well, three cancel the third. So that's what, four noints? So the probability of an even number here is one over 27 plus four noints. Wait, what? One over 27 plus four noints. 13 over 27. Okay. Now we have to work out which one of those combinations would have given us a value bigger than nine. Well, if we stick to this principle E, 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 4, 4, 4 would have. Yeah, so the probability of 4 plus 4 plus 4 would have given that, which is 1 over 8k cubed. What other options would have given me that? Well, there's no other evens. 2 plus 2 plus 2 wouldn't be bigger than 9. Uh, I'm going to have to look at the even odds, odds. If we think about 4, what could I pair that with? I could pair that with 3 and 3. I had 433 three, and I said there was three options, right? So there's three ways to do this. So that's three lots of the probability of 4, which is 1 8th k, times two lots of 3, which is 1 quarter k squared. Is there any other options? The thing about 2, right, is if I introduce 2 like this, 2, 3, 3 gives me 8, which isn't good enough. So it looks like everything I do has to be with 4, I think. Wait, 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 2, yeah, that doesn't work. Uh, I guess I could try with two observations of 4, uh, but that wouldn't give me an... Oh, wait. Oh yeah, I can do another three evens, can't I? I could do four, four, two. That gives me ten. Yeah. Okay. I didn't even consider that. And again, there's three different ways of getting that. 
Yeah, if you just switch around everything. Um, if they were all unique, there would be six different ways of arranging them. Okay, so it's one quarter, so it's three lots of one quarter, wait, one eighth K squared times two, which is a half K. Now I did store K, let's work them out separately. So K is eight over 15. So I have one eighth uh, A cubed. Whoa, that's a horrible number. Hey, I hope this is right. One over three, three, seven, five. Then I have three lots of one over eight K times one quarter A squared. <laughs> Yo, four over one, one, two, five. And finally, uh, this one gives me 2 over 1, 1, 2, 5. So that means that my numerator, so my numerator is that sum. So I'm adding that all up. So it becomes 1 over 3, 3, 7, 5 plus 4 over 1, 1, 2, 5 plus 2 over 1, 1, 2, 5 all over the probability of even. Oh my god, I nearly robbed that out. Mate, that would have been an absolute catastrophe. All right, what's that giving me? Okay, I'm just going to have to add these all up separately. 1 over 3375 plus 4 over 1125 plus 2 over 1125 is 13 over, wait, no, it's 19. 19 over 3375 divided by 13 over 27. So divided by 13 over 27 gives me 19. Ayo, have I typed these in right? This number does not look right at all. 444, 444, that times by itself cubed, 1 over 8. Wait, what did I say k was? 8 over 15, yeah. 1 over 8, I think my calculator is bargain. 1 over 8 a cubed. Yeah, 3, 3 over 7, 5. I'm going to store that as b so I don't mess this up. Then 3, lots of 1 eighth a times 1 quarter a squared is 4 over 1, 1, 2, 5. I'm going to store that as c. Then 3, 1 eighth a squared times 2 is a half k. Oh, it's four. Wait, what? Is that four? So that should be four. When I add them up. Uh, so I have B plus C plus D is one over one, three, five. <sighs> this number just didn't look right, man. So 1 over 135, that looks better because 27 goes into that. Divided by 13 over 27, 1 over 65. That looks cleaner. I knew something about that wasn't right. But yeah, there you go, guys. That's the strategy to address a question like this. Uh, if you learned something today, I'd appreciate if you hit that like button. Subscribe for more maths content. If you're interested in my A-level maths courses, there are more details in the description. And feel free to join the Learn Gang Reddit page if you yourself want to submit your own questions and get feedback from the community. Link to that is also in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video, which might not be for a while. Good luck with your final exams. Nice.